Peace and blessings. It is Wednesday, the 31st of August. And just wanted to give a little midweek update. So these are all of the chine gussets. Well, no, not, not all of them. These are the first, I don't know, maybe 12 out of 30 some odd stations. There's 100, 240 of these all together. They have to be wet out on both sides. So Fernando did one side on Monday, turned them over, did the other side yesterday. So now these are all dry. So we've got about another quantity like that left to do. And then there's some more here. So all together, there's about 240 of these <laughs> little things that have to be done. This is about 60. So this is about a quarter of the way through. Uh, got some interesting news here. <laughs> Let's walk over to the frame. Um, one of the uh, interesting components or aspects of building your own boat is that you have to wear many hats unless you have deep pockets. So you have to be um, chief financier. Uh, of course, I'm the chief designer, the lead project manager, lead carpenter, uh, delivery <laughs> coordinator, uh, transportation coordinator. I don't know, everything, of course. Um, but one of the most important hats that you have to wear in a project like this, because I'm dealing with processes, right? the same thing over and over again is besides process engineer which is developing a process how we're going to do it which is what those last videos were you have to be quality insurance uh, quality control assurance inspector uh, QC QA inspector so we did that today and let's show you the results so I laid out the frames that I built on Saturday and you know things pretty good until down there so we've got a bust on quality control and so I was thinking about this I watch a lot of videos and watch other boat builders and so one major time component is fairing the hull and making sure that the, the frames are uh, true in terms of the curve of the boat and so when I had put the frame in place on Saturday it I know it's something just didn't it just didn't look right so I kept thinking about it and thinking about it and finally what I decided to do was to take a measurement from there to there and compare it to what it was in the CAD program and the bottom frame here was supposed to be at I believe 11 foot 3 and a quarter inches and it was at 11 foot 2 and a half no it was 11 foot 2 and a half and it's supposed to be 11 foot 6 and a quarter so it was 2 and 3 quarter inches out which tells me that if you look at the gussets the gussets have a different angle than the wood do and I'm prone to believe that my gusset angles are truer than the actual cuts in the wood. So what that means is we're going to have to actually cut this back apart. It'll come apart easy. I mean it's, it's epoxy but it will cut. We can take a um, circular saw and we can cut right down the chine lines right down there and then cut the joint and take it back apart which, you know, will probably be an extra two hours work, but we can save that. So, what I had done initially, of course, in creating the process, was think about how I would get these frames true. And if we can go back to, say, March or April, we'll be reminded of what that process was. And that's this beautiful table in here. And Part of the process is to loft the frames on the table. And what didn't I do? I didn't follow the process that I had put in place. So that's totally on me. 
So now what I'm doing right now is actually checking this frame. This is frame 17, right? And so I went in the house and I printed out 17. I actually put this dimension in. I hadn't been checking for this dimension before, but I'm definitely going to check for it now. So I'm, I need from that corner to that corner 11 7 and 7 8. Actually, that's not the dimension I need and I ran out of paper <laughs> but I saved it on my phone so I'm going to have to pause this video and look at the true dimension. The dimension I actually want is the one that matters. It's the outside edge because that's the hull of the boat. So it's from there to the outside edge there is what I really need and I didn't have the paper to print it. I could have just ran this back through backwards but I'm thinking about that now. So I'm going to press pause, look at the dimension on my phone I took a picture of and resume this video. We're back. Okay, so the dimension on the camera was 11 foot 10 and an eighth. So what I've done is I've clamped the frames down and I measured from the edge of the table 11 foot 10 inches down and You know, taking the tape measure to measure from the corner I need from there all the way down something to support the tape <laughs> such a long to what we need here 11 foot 10 and 8th and so right at about that line this line here is what we need so now we're going to institute quality control <laughs> back into this process and slow it down I was so excited <laughs> about building the frame and putting it on the boat almost made a really big mistake about continuing uh, at that process without making sure that I've got every piece in place at the right distances because it's very important to get these angles right and these distances because at every stage of the boat it flares out a little bit more it rises up a little bit more or the reverse either comes down and flares out more or you know rises up and flares in a little bit but it's very important to get these laid out right so that when we go to actually put the skin on the boat, we're not out there with a block plane, planing it down, trying to get every frame just perfect in the right plane. So that's it for the Wednesday update. <laughs> um, it's a work in progress, and I love it. And thanks again for all your comments, all of your questions, really good questions, even on the engineering nerdy stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's it for today. And like always, peace and blessings. Got to put on my quality control hat. <laughs>